Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and while it's super nice to finally have an official in-game encounter counter for Pokemon, something we've been asking for for over 10 years, it looks a little bland, doesn't it? With the older encounter counters, you used to be able to install these little custom themes. You can see this one in the top right-hand corner. I love Shuckle, so I went ahead and added this. And for a while, I thought that was just a trade-off that we had to make, that we didn't have custom themes for this new official encounter counter. But I was very mistaken. We do have a few themes for this. Shout out to people like Hyper in the Pokemon community for making these themes so that this is even possible. You can also make your own themes if you're familiar with this sort of art style. Just make sure you upload them to the Pokemon official forums and get them approved under client customizations. But here are some examples of some of the themes that Hyper has made. These will all be linked in the description as well. Here's Pokemon Swamp with a cute little vibe. The Peter Griffin if you're a chaotic demon. The Polaroid Garatina. The Tepid one I really like looking at over to Castelia City. Uh, we have this little Magikarp one that has quite a scene to it with the Whale Lord coming up and sweeping it up from under the ocean. This super cute Furret one. This mystical Verizian forest one. This absolute classic Snorlax blocking a cavern. Pretty cool shiny Dragonite doing a hyper beam. The Blaziken and Lucario fight. I could see this one being a really big, a big fan favorite if you like either of these Pokemon. And the classic Starry Night beautiful Umbreon theme with it charging towards you. And if Pokemon themes aren't your jam, if you you know watch a little bit too much Pokemon, play a little bit too much Pokemon, you want a non-Pokemon theme in your video game, which I super get. Uh, there's this really cool like little cityscape type theme. I like the little eyeball that kind of uh, flashes over in the rows. I like that the ones the one billboard, the orange one, that kind of rotates through different little posters. Now, what you want to do is you want to find the one that you liked out of these. There's also another post that I'll show you in a quick sec, but I want to show you guys how to install them. Just go ahead and click the little uh, name of them. The name are all hyperlinks. So you can go ahead and click that name. And that is going to bring you over to a media fire link like this. Go ahead and click this little blue download button right here. I've already downloaded, so I'm not going to do that. But I also super recommend whenever you're downloading stuff like this on the Pokemon forums, it should be checked through by the devs who so should be okay. But one of the only times you can enter problems is like advertisements. I strongly recommend Adblock. If you're using websites like Mediafire or doing any sort of mod installation um, for Pokemon or other video games, Adblock becomes, in my opinion, a sort of safety mechanism in a way for you to not accidentally click, you know, the wrong download button or advertisements. It's really good if you're not super familiar with technology or super familiar with the layouts of certain websites, but it's also just a nice little safety net. I really do recommend Adblock from a, from a safety internet, you know, browsing perspective. Now, once you download the file, you want to go ahead and head over to your downloads folder, or you can hit Control plus J while in your browser. That will bring up this little page here, and then you can click this little button here if you're on Windows Chrome, or sorry, Google Chrome like I am, and click Show Folder. That will bring up your downloads folder. All right, then you should have a .zip file of whatever download you compressed, whatever theme you compressed over in your downloads folder. You want to right-click that and click Cut. Then with that cut in your clipboard, you want to head over to your Pokemon Mo icon on your desktop, right click that and click open file location. That's going to bring up your Pokemon Mo folder. You then want to go ahead, let's maximize this, and you want to go over to data, mods, and then just click control V, or you could right click and hit paste. And that's going to paste the, uh, whatever the mod is, whatever the uh, theme you chose into your mods folder. You could also go ahead and just install multiple of these encounter counter themes if you would like and then switch between them whenever you want to shake things up. That's what I've personally done as you can see a few different uh, little zip files in here. All right, and then after that is done, go ahead and load up your game. Go ahead and click mod management in the bottom right hand corner down here. And then you want to scroll through this list and you should see all of your mods that you have installed. And if you scroll to the very bottom, you should be able to see some of your encounter counter themes. You can go ahead and click this little box on whichever one you want to go ahead and activate for the time being. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the, uh, the Pokemon Swamp for the time being for now. Then you want to go ahead and click save. That will restart your game, of course. Once you have it enabled like that, you can go ahead and log in. And boom, your encounter counter will now look like this. And if you'd ever decide you don't like it, you can obviously go ahead and head back to the uh, the main menu and just go through that mod management and disable it. Tur you can turn all of them off. You can turn a different one on. You can really do, obviously, whatever you would like. Now, I'm going to show you a few other options really quick, but if you have any questions, any concerns, please let me know in the comments. I will try to get to you. I am no tech wizard. I've just grown up on the internet, been here for a very long time, and done a lot of things like this. But I am no absolute, you know expert when it comes to stuff like this but thankfully it's pretty simple and the people over at the pokemon staff team have made it really simple to install these mods over the years as well as the people making the mods themselves 
shout out to them they are the real heroes like i could not make something like this if i tried so i just really appreciate people doing this work and then shout out to Ver vartio vertio apologies if i butchered your name dude um who's also made some really amazing encounter counters you can go ahead and scroll through if you like some of these pokemon you can check these out he's got manectric he's got um gardevoir absol i think the melodic one is really cool the way it's like folding over itself the dark right one is really cool really good for halloween um even the smeargle one kind of got a good halloween vibe to it very very beautiful the celebi one the cherry blossoms there's some really cool stuff here the skitty the Haxorus, the Volcarona, the Larvitar, the Agron, the Porygon. He's got a lot of really good ones. The Charizard image he chose. Very, very good in my opinion. I'm sure there'll be more to come of this in the future. I, I like kind of the GIF elements, but these are a lot more. I think if you want to run one permanently long term, all the moving from the GIFs might be a bit much. So I can understand preferring these, but these are just your options. If you want to ask people to make new ones, um, obviously, I think it's really important. Don't Please don't just beg these creators and these artists to make ones for free. I believe you can offer Poke Yen uh, for people to make in-game mods like this. Um, make sure you go ahead and put that in writing and talk to people and communicate. And if you want to ask the devs, you can but i believe you can request artistic and like in-game things like this and pay pokey and so if you want to offer people pokey and to make specific custom themes that you want um obviously make sure they're taking that sort of request but you could do that so i believe that is the current uh that's the current encounter counter theme situation if you have any questions any concerns if i missed anything please let me know in the comments once again i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did like it if not dislike it subscribe to the channel for daily pokemon videos i do upload every single day follow me on twitch for streams usually monday through thursday at 12 p.m et but i also update when i'm live when i'm not live in my discord link down below and if you want to go above me on support my channel support my content allow me to make videos like this youtube memberships twitch primes twitch subs and paypal slash venmo donations really allow me to be here they make the difference guys thank you so much for anyone who does go above and beyond and support as well as any sponsorships like factor or HelloFresh, links down below that is the best way to support me and they are amazing products that i used to use before i was ever even sponsored by them some amazing food you get 50 percent off your first box using my link in the description check it out thanks for watching have a great day and shiny hunt in style guys peace arena yo what's up outro petrowski here and i wanted to take this time to say thank you to everyone who goes above and beyond and supports my channel your names are all listed here you make it possible for me to make helpful and mildly entertaining content for the game that i love and make it available for free for everyone to enjoy Thank you so much for allowing me to even be here.